Well, these are the burrow hose from the rats. You know, they're all over the place. Rat holes puck the ground outside John Wesley Biggs's apartment. Flies covering the siding. I just want to move. You know, I, I don't want to live like this anymore. Biggs and his family were homeless before moving to these low income apartments 18 months ago. The problem started in May when an old roller rink was torn down, sending rats scurrying for new homes. Biggs shot this video on his cell phone. There's been multiple occasions where I've walked my daughter down to go do laundry and she accidentally stepped on a rat. And um, just a couple weeks ago, I kicked one into my van by accident. Now that winter is here, the rats are climbing into cars, making nests under the hood, chewing up wires and leaving a disgusting mess behind. I mean, all of this is rat urine, there's rat feces. At one point, Biggs brought his car into the shop for work. And they wouldn't even touch my hood. They were like, there's so much rat feces and, and urine down there that you know, we can't, it's, it's more of a safety hazard. Family Tree Management says they've put out more than 70 traps and have exterminators come every week, but the vermin continue to plague this property. The county health department's been out at least three times since August. An email from the county state's management is staying on top of the problem, and it's not a situation that's being ignored. Family Tree has also reached out to Everett Code Enforcement for help, but that still hasn't come. There's one, two, three, four. And as Big keeps counting rat holes, he says his rent has been raised $375 a month. His home not feeling quite so comfortable anymore. You know, we were promised that this was a beautiful and, and wonderful place. So far, it's been a living nightmare. About a half an hour ago, I spoke with another tenant here who says she fell asleep with her door open over the summer and had two rats come inside her apartment. By the way, we reached out to Everett Code Enforcement today for comment, but we have still not heard back. Live in Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.